Hey there, welcome to Nepi Invest. Of course, we're in Appendix 4C season, probably my favorite time of year, these sort of months where we get a, a plethora of companies releasing their quarterly cash flow reports and we can see how they're doing, how their operations are performing, and Whisper is no different. So they released their Appendix 4C on the 21st of January, which I think was a Thursday. So let's have a look at their Appendix 4C for the quarter. So this is it. So it's the first thing that always pops up in an Appendix 4C is the cash flows from operating activities. It's the most important thing a company has or you can look at for a company because their operations is what drives the company moving forward. If they don't have operations, how can they grow uh, in the future? So of course, their receipts from customers, what they got from customers in cash is very important. And uh, Whisper had $11.3 million in cash. Now, in isolation, that doesn't tell you much because you have to look at the trend. And in the next slide, we'll have a look at the trend for Whisper. But of course, the last thing I always look at here is the net cash from operating activities. You can see whether the company is cash flow positive in operations or cash flow negative. And in Whisper's case, they were cash flow positive for the quarter. And that's a big tick in my books. It also was a big tick in the market's books because the share price did rally quite hard on the day they released this announcement. You can also look at this year to date or the last six months and you can just see here based off these numbers that the previous quarter they were actually cash flow negative in operations to the tune of almost $2 million. Now a company can get cash or lose cash through a number of ways. Operations is one. They also can lose cash or gain cash through investing or financing activities. So in Whisper's case, even though they did get $413,000 in operations, because they spent $1.4 million in investing activities, including $174,000 in capital expenditure and $1.3 million in intellectual property, and also they spent money in financing activities to the tune of $129,000, and even though the exchange rates were positive for them, they did lose cash overall, and so they began the quarter with $12 million of cash on hand, and they finished a quarter with $10.9 million of cash. That's nothing to be concerned with because they have plenty of cash on hand to fund future operations in the next few quarters. So the, the thing I really like to look at is uh, trends in cash receipts. And this is also true when you look at half yearly reports and yearly reports for all the major com companies on, in the world. If, they're, if you're seeing revenues come down or go lower each year for a company, that's not a good sign. But if you see the reverse, revenues growing with time, that's actually a good sign. So in this case, looking at cash receipts, uh, looking at cash receipts growth and trends, and what I've calculated here is the compound quarterly growth rate for cash receipts and that comes out as 5.3%. Now they don't have much of a history here, only going back to July 2019, and it's a slow trend up. My only concern is with a quarterly compound quarterly growth rate of 5.3%, and the fact that this company is valued quite highly, I think there is potential that the company is overvalued to a degree, and that's one of the reasons why I no longer hold this company. Now, maybe I've made a mistake uh, by selling out a few weeks ago, because it does look like the company is starting in a new uptrend. And this is just the uh, six month daily chart. We did see the, sh uh, the peak in the share price uh, around $5 and ever since that $5 in August, share price has been coming back. Uh, and we did see the share price get towards $3, but stay just above three. But in the last few weeks, we have seen the potential change in trend. And you can just see the moving averages come together and the share price starting to rise. And then on the day that they released the Appendix 4C, the share price did shoot up by a fair bit. But in saying that, on the last day of trading this week, on the Friday, the share price did drop 6%, which might give you uh, an opportunity to buy into Whisper at a bit of a lower price than the 436 that is quoted here. A bit of a save of buy on the dip sort of thing, especially if you're interested in this company. So that's all I've got on Whisper for their Appendix 4C for this quarter. I hope you've liked it. Um, if you are a holder of Whisper, shareholder, make sure you leave a comment or two, or maybe you know a little bit more about the company than I do. But otherwise, if you need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified. I am not a financial advisor. I'm only doing these videos for educational, entertainment, and research purposes. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.